Hello, today I have a Sony VAIO Flip 13. This is model SVF13N2B4E. This is called a flip because you can flip a lever and switch it into tablet mode. So now at this point, you know, it's, it's, it's a very thin laptop, so it works okay as a tablet. So now it's got, you know, we're Windows 8 in tablet mode. I need the on-screen keyboard. Why doesn't that automatically come in? I guess I would have to, uh, maybe the Windows key brings it up. Nope. Well, anyway, this computer has a noisy fan, so I'm going to open it up and try to get to the bottom of why that is. So I'm just going to shut down and take the back off. I have to close it in laptop mode. Well, I don't have to, but the safest way to do this is to lock the screen into notebook mode so that when it's closed, the glass is facing the keyboard and it's protected from scratches so you know sliding around on my on my worktop here now this computer i suspect has been opened before it's missing this rubber foot and it's missing two screws here there should be i think 12 screws there there are screws underneath these rubber feet so there'll be one two should be three four five six and then uh, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i'm gonna take this little strip of adhesive it's not doing anything here. It's protecting these screws, but really it was supposed to be holding that rubber foot that's missing. Um, I think I might take these screws out on half and then put the, the adhesive strip back down and then do the other half. And these are all, these first two are so far different lengths from one another. Strange. Okay, so that's the first half. And now we'll do the other side. Well, that's really strange. The way that screw just... It might be that that screw's not meant to come out. We'll see. Now it definitely had to come out in order for this to come off. There should be one more up here. Those two are missing. There are going to be screws under here. Just one. So now this comes up from one side to the other. I'm not sure which side wants to come up first. I think there's a bit of a gap on this side, right above that uh, air opening there. That's really quite easy to get this plastic tool into, but it looks like that audio connection is completely captured by this plastic. So I think this side needs to stay down while the other side lifts up. Yeah. There's nothing captive on this side. There's the power button, but I suspect that might be... Hmm, I'm not actually sure. I'm going to put this tool... This is quite a soft, flexible plastic tool. So I'm going to just get it in here and see if anything moves. I can feel it moving as I do that. I'm just testing to see what moves and what doesn't. Okay. I'm going to try this metal pry tool because it's very thin and I should be able to get it in here if it's possible to go in there. Hmm, no? Let's check the back. Ah, so that fit quite easily. I can see that there's movement. And the power button is staying with this back cover. So that's interesting. I'm going to check over here and see what happens. So that comes free pretty easily. So I'm not going to start there because I wouldn't want to put too much pressure in the wrong place. But it's just good to know where, you know, what's going what's gonna to be happy to move and what's not. So that just released a clip. I don't know what's under here. Like I don't want to, um, 
hit any structures, you know, cooling fin or anything like that, because the, the heat sink is there. Oh yeah, okay, I can see these releasing. But again, we have the audio jack that's captured in here, so I'm not going to start on this side. I have to start on the other side. So I just need to figure out where I can get my pry tool inside and then coax it up. Yep, that came quite easily. I'm just being very gentle. And then between these USB ports, I can get in there just a little bit. You can see it's moving. So now I'll go next to it if I can get... I think I need to pry up a little bit while I do that. So I'll stick this tool in there to try to just get a little bit of motion. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to go. I might just... I'm being very, very gentle. It's hard to do that for the camera because I can't really see myself. So I've got to hold it down here in front of my face. I just need to get that to pry up a little bit so I can get a tool in there. There we go. Yeah. Nice. So being very gentle, I don't want anything to crack. <laughs> I mean, I suspect this should come up from the back, but again, that captive audio jack on the other side tells me that it, it just can't. So I need to figure out Hopefully this front is going to release just as easily as the back did, but so far I don't see any movement there. So I'm going to get my plastic tool under it, if I can. And maybe the back has to go as well. Yep, nice. I'm prying so gently. I wonder if there's another screw under this foot. No. Okay. It's just this corner hasn't lifted. There we go. Okay, so that's up. And that just released the front as well. So this is all coming. Just going to coax these clips on the, on the back. This is the, the back bottom. It's being very gentle. A little proof of dust. Okay, so this corner here, it's the corners that you have to be very careful of because they're most likely to break. I'm just going to stick a tool under here so that we don't uh, lose progress and close everything up again. That doesn't really want to go, so I'm going to start from under the corner here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's released. All of this is released. Oh, maybe there's still one here. There's still something that's not fully released in this corner. It's almost like there's a screw. There's not. So as I lift, I'm kind of twisting. Oh, I knocked over my screws. Got to be careful. Maybe putting this here wasn't a good idea. thought it would be good for the camera, but... Ah, there we go. Okay. So that's fully released from from here all the way around to here. So I just need something up here to release. There it goes. It's very strange how it just won't go around that... Uh, I mean, I would expect because of that audio jack, I would expect this to slide, either slide this way or just open up like a book. But it's as if something is still screwed in, or there's a screw coming down from above, maybe. That actually is what it feels like. If there's a screw under the keyboard or something like that. I think maybe it's adhesive. I think there might be some adhesive that has stuck the battery to the lid. Because the place where it's... Yeah, the place where it's stuck was just the battery. Oh, no, it was one of these clips... But as I looked in, I saw this screw boss and thought, oh no, it's not actually a screw boss, it's like an alignment pin. So it was just this clip. I'm not even sure where that's clipped in. Hmm. Two of the screws, the short two screws that look different from the other ones when I was removing the back, 
um, the ones that come through these larger holes, I think, didn't need to be removed. They're for these speakers, and so that's why these speakers were flopping around. I'm going to put them back in so that the speakers don't fall out while I'm working. So instead of 14 screws, there should be 12, but in this one, there are actually only 10 because two were missing. So these two screws here were missing. I wonder if I have replacements. Uh, it'll be hard to know. They'll have to be quite thin. Maybe that feels right. I wonder if I have two of those. Yep, okay. Right, so there's the M2 SSD. There's the cooling fan that has lots of crud on it. Here's another laptop with a little ground wire screwed underneath the hinge screw. I'm just gonna make sure these are all tight. Yep, nice and tight, okay. So there's some dust that's gotten in here, but not a lot. The cells aren't puffed out. This is in good shape. M2 drive. Um, uh, it's got the number 256 in it, so it's probably 256 gigabytes. I think that's right. Looks like the RAM is soldered onto the motherboard. And so here's the, the heat pipe. I'm going to remove the CPU cooling fan. And before I do that, I'm going to remove the battery. Looks like there are, there's a screw here and two screws there and a screw there. So there are four screws up the middle. There are other screws around the outside. Oh no, there's one there too, holding the battery in. This one comes through the case screw. So do those. Interesting. Just very critical that I keep the screws organized because they're all different lengths. Many of them are different lengths. All these battery screws are probably the same. But I also need to remind myself where they came from on the battery. Now, I think this battery should just lift out. And unplug. Yeah. All right. Battery's out. A few more crumbs, a couple of hairs. It's not too bad. So now I'm gonna take the heat pipe off of the CPU so I can reapply thermal paste and access the fan and clean the fan up. So this plug is plugged in with yellow, black, red. I'm just saying that out loud so it'll be easier for me when I go to put it back together. I can come back to this video and look if I can't figure it out. Come on, plug. There we go. Uh, it looks like the fan is screwed onto the motherboard. The fan probably comes out of here without taking the heat pipe off, but like I said, I want to apply the reapply thermal paste anyway because I think this thing has a problem with heat. So I'll take those two screws out. Yeah, and that's attached to that heat pipe. So here we go. Bit of fabric tape. I'm not sure why. Now screw torque pattern one, two, three. I can see printed on there, so I'm gonna go three, two, one to take it off. Another screw on the fan that I missed. It's almost like it's captive, but it's not. Come on now. Now is this just taped? on there. Uh, it's taped on there very well actually. So let me be smart about this. I want to save that tape. Move this laptop out of the way. And I'm gonna wipe that thermal compound off of there. So I'm going to try to peel this tape off of this fan in a way that makes it reusable. So if I can just get under there and roll between the tape and the fan, I'm hoping the fan will then pivot away. They've perforated this tape, which is going to make it susceptible to, uh, to tearing as I do this. I'm just hoping I can not tear it. And then I'm going to try this gasket as well. 
This is stuck a little more firmly, but it's coming up. Just got to get this tool underneath it and then I roll it where it stays on, you know, kind of I'm allowing it to stick to the tape, but then slide against the metal below it. That seems to work fairly well a lot of the time and it's working in this case. Okay, so there I've got that gasket off. I still have more tape down here. Just working this tool around the edge. See, there's tape on the back, so I can't flip it the other way. So I'm just hoping I can get all this tape off of the front, and that will allow me to unstick it from that copper tape on the back. Okay, so now that's, um, I guess it's not unpeeling very easily from there, so let me use this tool to get the rest of the way across. That tape is really stuck on there, and now it's going to be very unsticky when I'm done here, I think, but I'm not sure what to do about that. Okay, so now... Okay, so it goes like that. I like the way this is packed. So the new one is packed in this box with just a little bits of styrofoam holding this bag in place. So there's very little chance that this could be damaged in shipping. Very well packed indeed. Now hopefully I won't wreck it opening it up. So they didn't give me the whole fan, it's, uh, I've not seen this before, where the, the fan, replacement fan doesn't include the back plate. <sighs> okay. I mean, it's definitely the right part. Same plug, same part number even, Panasonic. Okay. So do I need to try to get this plate off of this one? It's melted on. All right, let me try. First things first, I've got to get this grounding strap off of there. So that's gonna come with the plate. I need to try to do this in a way that's not gonna cut my thumb when this blade goes through. Yeah, that's going, okay, that's pretty, uh, pretty okay. I could melt this off but it's always it's kind of hard to melt it off because it always has a tendency to, to blob back down it's gonna be easy to melt the new one in just took a little gouge out of my mat here my little work mat okay a little bit of that fell into the fan but that's okay this is the old fan now are you gonna come off yeah Old fan, new fan. <whistles> fan, okay, is this? No, it did not go in. Why there isn't one on this one. That looks pretty rough. Okay, so let's see if this fits well into this heat sink. I feel like that's where that goes. But, yeah, and that covers that hole there. All right, 
Let's see if it fits back in the laptop the way we expect it to. So let's see, we had this piece of tape. Okay, so that's all gonna fit there, I think. I think it fits the way it's supposed to. So now I have to put some more thermal compound on here. That's a bit much. Let me scrape some of that off and put it over here. There we go. Okay. So that tape isn't staying down. I'm gonna put a little bit of cap tan on there. I'm not exactly sure the best route for this. Uh, probably use the one that's already been used. moment of truth the fans nice and quiet all right just gonna run Windows updates on this actually I'm gonna install Windows 10 for this customer but that's a different story so thanks for watching